Wake up! Oh, good morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I look like when I wake up. You don't look so good either. Anyway, so... I got a new camera. I got a lot of new stuff. Mm. Let's check it out, see if it does any better. Mm. Hi, my name is T. I am not a chef. Actually, I'm a truck driver. And I don't drive food trucks, I drive a semi. What I'm about to do is show you how to do what I do on my truck. Welcome to your favorite new food show, Big Taste in a Small Space with me, T. So this is my new camera. It's a little GoPro, 4K, ooh, good video. But this is how small this thing is. Eh, okay, let's check it out. So today I'm gonna use my kind of second favorite fish, uh, red snapper filet. Just gonna check and make sure they got all the scales off. Mm, they did a pretty impressive job at the farmer's market, the cab farmer's market. Put little slits, that's to get the flavor down in the meat of the fish. Drizzle a little olive oil on it. That's gonna help the seasoning stick to the fish. Add some garlic oil, just another little drizzle. Remember, this garlic oil is strong as all get out. Add some salt. A little black pepper. Gotta have salt and pepper, you know. Then I'm gonna flip the fish over because you gotta season both sides. I just want salt and pepper on the skin side. Then I'm gonna use a little Obey season. Obey, oh baby, oh. A little bit. This stuff is salty too. And you're gonna add some salt. So a little Obey. A little salt. A little black pepper. A little more garlic oil on the flesh side. Just a drizzle, 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 drizzle. A little olive oil on the flesh side. Not only the seal in the flavor, but it's gonna keep it from sticking to whatever you're gonna cook it, cause we're cooking this skin side down. Excuse me, uh, flesh side down, not skin side, not this time. And although I didn't show you the video, yeah, that's what we're doing. Flesh side down, on top of the pan, ready to go into the oven. So that fish I just threw in the oven at about 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, mm, made a quick salad, nothing major impressive to show you. I was just testing the camera. Now I'm going to start testing this duo and show you that part too. Oh, you don't know what the duo is? The food sealer, the nutri sealer, as uh, I was so corrected before. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check this this uh, food sealer. I'll show you a couple things. There's some pluses. There's some minuses. Mm, I still like it so far, but check it out. So now the first thing I noticed about doing this video is that mm, maybe I should do it in the daytime when there's a little more light. Who knew? So what I'm doing right now is sealing an end of the bag so you'll have a closure and uh, the food won't fall back up. And you see me pushing the button. I like to push it twice just to make sure it gets a good seal on the end. Both my daughters, well, one only now, but both my daughters worked in the food industry. And when you have a bag that doesn't seal properly, they call that a leaker. Don't want leakers. So you see, get a nice closure, nice seal. So, okay. Immediately, the second thing that I noticed is I got one of these things for me and one for my younger daughter as a housewarming gift. 
Congratulations, you got your first house. Well, hers is a little bigger than mine. And I kind of swiped her plastic bags. And as you see, I'm struggling to cut her bag because I didn't realize it was bigger than mine. But with little adjustments, little lining it up, you know, even me, I actually got it done. Now once you've got your bag sized right, you fill it up. I think we all know how to fill a bag, so I could do a little faster motion with this part. Fill up your bag and you get it lined up ready to be sealed now the sealer has this little trough somewhere what's a trough it's a little groove this little thing that you have to put the edge of the bag in it's gonna that's where the air sucker sucks the air out this sucker so you can suck it up it's a little trough that you put so that the um, bag can be sealed properly you can vacuum it out you know just line it up put this part in regular speed so you can see and hear what it does how it does push the button and mm, suction motion takes the air out and you'll see on that top right corner you'll see that light flash a couple of times that's when you know it's vacuumed it's sealed it's done and once again to prevent leakers I like to push the seal button a second time just to make sure because yes I have had a leaker here and there pretty oh no not me the seal so now I found the right size the non-stolen bags and I'm gonna seal up a couple of things real quick so you can see what I did so once again you get your little edge you seal it up you cut your bag you size it you know me I like to portion control for a meal that I'm gonna cook so you get in there you put it in that trough you seal it suck the air out push it again BAM nice vacuum seal bag same thing again so close your end cut your portion size fill it up with your meat get it in that trough most of the time it's an easy thing to do seal it up double seal bam and might as well do a little bit of chicken hey so get your portion size i had five pieces i think i only need three for a meal sometimes two I'm slimming as you see I had a little struggle there trying to get into the trough but once you get it in there right it seals up quick and easy bam that's what I did all of that took about 20 30 minutes to do it shouldn't take you that long because you're not filming maybe and cooking at the same time maybe but yeah it's a pretty quick process. Once you get the hang of it, it goes by fast. What didn't go so well is using another company's bags or Ziploc bags. Anybody else but the, the Nutri Sealer bags didn't quite go so well. But it did seal it. So this is just some generic uh, vacuum sealer bags I got out of Walmart. I don't have the box in front of me, so I can't tell you the name. It gave me a decent seal when I did my double seal thing at the end. Bags were also kind of large. Yeah, so so. Uh, if I could open the bag of shrimp, it'd be really good. So I put some shrimp in the bag, a little too much, and uh, try to do the vacuum sealer thing. Yeah, lining it up because it's a little bigger bag. It did suck the air out at first, but it didn't do a great job, so it didn't really seal it. So, okay, suck the air out the second time, and as you see it growing again, that means you don't have a good seal. 
Anytime you see that happen, you got a leaker. So I'ma try it again. Nah, get my little double seal on. Size it up. Mm, cut the bag. Put the rest of the shrimp in there and try and try to get in that trough just right, just so perfect. And suck the air out. Okay, cool. Worked that time. No, no it didn't. There's a little plate in the back. I took that out to see if that will help me get a better seal. It worked for the most part at first. But later on, I found out it was a leak or two. So I tried, and I tried, and I tried, and I kept on trying. And after a while out of frustration, I finally did stop, but eh, so it will seal the bag, but you're not going to get that vacuum seal like you would with the Neutro Duro Nutri Sealer Dealy, you know. Uh, I give it a thumb and a half, thumb and three quarters up out of two. You know, I really like the product. Just don't try to seal with other people's bags. Now I got to figure out where I can get some other bags. The right size. But if you use their product, it's a wonderful machine. I like it. Maybe next time I'll read the instructions and I'll try to demonstrate it in the Time. Light, what a concept. Hmm. <laughs> so the Power XL Neutro Nutri Duo Food Sealer System. I think you should try one. Oh, and it comes with enough bags. I actually had it over the holiday season and me and my daughter sealed up a lot of stuff. They give you four rolls of bags with each machine. You wouldn't believe how much food we sealed up. That's why I need some more bags. But I still have a little bit. Definitely worth buying.